Hello? I'm sorry, my mommy's not home right now. Yes, company. Oh, uh, no, my daddy's not home either. Uh, he's with the angels. Bye. I'm so going to hell. Uh, come on, Trina. They don't send people to hell for bad impersonations. Oh, like your Ukrainian immigrant voice with the phone company was so much better? There is nothing wrong with the voice that I use. <laughs> what is that? I'm sorry, broccoli. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a family portrait that Bo drew for school. Well, that's weird. Didn't our family have four people in it? Where am I? Bo, can you come here for a second? You're right there. That's a flower. Dad, Dad? Hey, buddy. Did you uh, forget something in this picture? No. Well, where am I? You're at work where you always are. <laughs> Well, this is great. That's it. He's already forgotten about me. No, he hasn't. Trina, between my day job and my night job, I barely see you guys as it is. Now I'm disappearing from Bo's homework? You're not disappearing. You were never there in the first place. <laughs> well, I'm off this weekend, and we're doing something as a family. Just the four of us. Hey. Something fun. Big fun. We don't have any money. Something cheap. Big cheap. <laughs> well, let's go camping. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. We could use my daddy's lake. Oh, God. I don't want to go to Lake Carl. It's far away. There's bugs. It's called Lake Carl. It's free. And since we're practically living without running water and electricity, it might be good practice. Yeah. Fine, we'll go to Lake Carl. But I refuse to walk up the Carl Trail to Mount Carl and sing the Carl Spangled Banner. Carl, what are you doing here? Well, Trina called and said you guys wanted to use Lake Carl. I figured I'd just come along up there with you and show you how to use it. Well, I'm pretty sure we can figure it out, but if I get there and I see the boat and the water and we're stumped, we'll call you. You think I'd trust you to just have the run of the place? 37 acres of pristine wilderness and untamed wildlife? Carl, a 30-year-old cow is hardly untamed wildlife. You forget it, you're not coming. Oh, I guess that means you won't be using my air mattresses. I don't care. Or my outdoor beer tap cooler. Fine. Or my lake. Come on, Carl. Look, I am just trying to spend some special time with my family. Well, what do you think I am? I got a lot of answers to that question. And every one of them are going to keep me from going to your lake. <laughs> Fine, you can come. All right, you talked me into it. Hey, I'll pile some of my supplies in the back of your old rust bucket here. The kids can ride up with me in this little beauty. I don't know. They like riding in the truck because they can spit through the floorboard. <laughs> what is that? Well, it's my rifle. I'm surprised you didn't recognize it since it greeted you at the door the night you picked up train on your first date. <laughs> We're not taking that camping. Camping without a gun? That's like driving without one. <laughs> this is a family trip and nobody's shooting anything. Bad news, garbage disposal shot. Worst news. So is Carl. What? I kind of shot your daddy in the ass. <laughs> Why don't you sit here on the couch, Daddy? Here's your donut. You know, instead of shooting me, you could have just told me that you didn't want me to go camping with you. I did. Quit whining. The bullet only went through one butt cheek. Worst thing that could have happened was a little brain damage. Yeah, one butt cheek, just like you to do something half-assed. Daddy, you are the one that brought the loaded gun. And you're the one who set it off. Ah. Both of you, shut up. Now look, Rodney, he's going to be here for a while, and we're going to take care of him and give him whatever he needs. You got that? Fine. Okay, Daddy, if you want Rodney to help you, you got to be nice to him. Have I suffered enough? <laughs> Listen, I got a favor to ask. Do you think you could drop down by the car lot and just make sure everything's running smooth? Yeah, I got time right now. If you leave, who's going to take care of Carl? How about the guy who shot him? There's some ointment and bandages, and I'll be back in a little while. I'm 
So, uh, you want to go horseback riding? <laughs> Look, jackass, if I need anything from you, I'll just give you a rattle. What is that? Put my bullet in a jelly jar. They gave it to me in a plastic pill bottle, but it wouldn't make enough noise to annoy you. <laughs> what? The remote needs new batteries, and it's time to swab my bullet hole. Well, two batteries and a pot scrubber coming up. <laughs> Hello? Get your book out. I got a gig for you. Who is this? Amy O'Brien, your manager. Manager? I thought you lost interest in me after I missed that showcase. Well, I did, but I had a cancellation, so today is your lucky day. Two months on the road, comedy clubs and colleges, $1,500 a week. What do you say? Are you serious? That's great. I, I mean, I should probably talk to my wife. In or out, Rodney, I need an answer now. I've got five other comics who don't need to talk to your wife. <laughs> All right, I'm in. I'm in, and thanks. I mean, this has made my year. Oh, I couldn't be happier. You leave on Thursday, and I'll call you later with the details. Whoa! Hold it down there, dummy. I'm trying to recuperate in here. <laughs> hey, Carl, kiss me where I shot you. How's dinner coming, boys? My hot dog fell in the dirt. Pick up your wiener and stick it back in there. That's how the cowboys used to do it. Did the cowboys also use air mattresses? Yes, they did. They used to trade them to the Indians for keychains and boneless chicken. Hey, Daddy. Hey. How you feeling? Holier than thou. Oh. <laughs> I've been saving that one all day. So how's things at the office? Well, I'm pretty sure Buddy Chalmers is stealing a car one part at a time. After all I've done for him, mm -hmm. I took him under my wing. Hell, I treated him like a son. He's the chubby little guy, right? And another thing, I took a look at your books, and they are a mess. Yeah, I know. I've been meaning to straighten them out. Well, I could do it for you, but you're going to have to pay me. Oh, I couldn't pay you, darling. Your family. That would be insulting. Well, you can have my insults deposited directly into my checking account. Where's the kids at? I think they're out there with the shooter on the grassy knoll. <laughs> wow. Hey, honey. What is all this? We're having some family time. I promised to camp a trip, and that's what we're doing. Hey, boys, why don't you run over to the Shefflins and see if they got some marshmallows we can borrow for some s'mores. And chocolate. And graham crackers. Did you put up a tent all by yourself? Yeah. Are there any parts left over? No. I threw them over the fence. <laughs> hey, listen, I got something I want to tell you. Is it good news or bad news? Well, it's mostly good. I got a call today from that manager, Amy O'Brien, uh -huh. and she offered me some work, a lot of work. And we're going to be able to pay off all our bills and our health insurance. Honey, that is no. so great! No, 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 listen, there's no... No, no, this solves all of our problems. Oh, I knew if I stuck around long enough with you, things would stop sucking. <laughs> <laughs> listen, there's more. Okay. What is it, old man? A beer would be nice. <laughs> That's it. Stay right there. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, here's your beverages, here's your banyo. <laughs> Don't bother me again until this is inside of this. <laughs> that is so amazing that she called right out of the blue like that. I can't believe it. I want you to tell me everything. Give me all the details. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's, it's $1,500 a week. <gasps> For eight weeks. Fifteen hundred dollars? Yes. Times eight? That's... Okay, honey, let me finish. Okay. Okay, it's two months on the road. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be traveling all over the country, so I'm not going to be able to come home in between shows. 
You're gonna be gone for two months? Well, yeah, I leave on Thursday. Thursday? Honey, I wish I didn't have to go. I mean, but what choice do we have? We need the money, and this is what we work so hard for. I know, but two months. Yeah. The Shefflings gave us a whole bag of marshmallows. The good kind, too, not the cheap kind like we get. <laughs> this is so much fun. Can we do this every weekend, Dad? Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it, buddy? Two months on the road? Yeah. Well, all right. When are we leaving? You can't come. Should I dress for warm or cold? Barry. I'll just layer. You can't go with me. Why not? Doesn't make sense to take two cars. Come on, Barry. You got a business. You got a wife. I know. That's just I'm gonna miss you. I mean, we've seen each other every day for the last 11 years. It's gonna be a tough adjustment. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss everybody. I feel like I'm not around already as it is. I mean, Bo's leaving me out of the family portrait. I wonder what it's going to be like when I'm gone for two months. Well, you know, Rodney, uh, when I was little, my dad used to travel for work, and he'd be gone for weeks at a time. We barely saw each other, but we were still close. I thought your dad was a barber in the same town for 30 years. <laughs> well, he was, but how's a stay-at-home barber story supposed to help you feel better? <laughs> Well, thanks for trying. You know, success does bring a whole other set of problems, Rodney, but they're better problems. Yeah. But why can't something good just be good, you know? I finally get an opportunity to do something great for my family, and in order to do it, I gotta leave them. Well, I feel for you, buddy. It's hard to leave your family behind. My dad struggled with that for years. Shut up! <laughs> I have to go without a husband for two months. Two months. Can you imagine? What'd you expect, Trina? He is a comedian. You knew he'd be on the road a lot. I know. I just always expected he'd go someplace, be funny, and come home. I never expected he'd go someplace, be funny, and never come back. <laughs> well, it did come out of the blue, but this is a pretty great opportunity for Rodney. No, it is. It's amazing. It's something he's been wanting to do his whole life. Plus, we could really use the money. I've been ducking bill collectors. Little girl voice or no speaky English? Little girl voice. <laughs> Plus, the boys are going to be out of school soon. I'm going to have them all day. Daddy's laid up. I'm in charge of this place, and I just... <sighs> it's just... It's a lot for me to handle by myself, you know? Well, Trina, you do not have to worry about being alone. Your big sister will be there for you. I know. Okay? Mm -hmm. Buddy? Yeah. <laughs> is under your shirt? Uh, that'd be my belly. <laughs> Looks like a steering wheel to me. Oh, man. <laughs> How'd that get there? <laughs> Bunch of pranksters over in parts. <laughs> Put that back. You got it. <laughs> and the antenna. Radio. Grandpa Carl still in the bathroom? Old people are slow. <laughs> I think he'd be faster now that Dad shot another hole in his butt. <laughs> what was that? Okay, A little help. Anybody? <laughs> What is it? It's our new home for the next two months. We're going on the road. <laughs> okay, look. I know you might think this RV idea is a crazy idea, but this way I can go on the road and I can have you guys with me at the same time. Uh. It's the perfect combination of ideas. It's like wet t-shirts and contests. <laughs> Where did you get this? I borrowed it from your dad's car lot. Look at this. Bedroom, kitchen, living room. This way, when we're on the road, we can still get things done. 
When I'm driving, you can be washing the dishes. While you're driving, I can be taking a nap. <laughs> you want us to go on the road with you for two months? Why not? It'll be like a family vacation. Two months, that's a long time, Rodney. No, it's not, Trina. Look at this. Cedar Rapids, Park Rapids, Rapid City. The trip's gonna go very fast. Cool, the bathroom's right next to everything. Everything's next to everything. Hey, boys, why don't you go see if your Grandpa Carl needs help out of the potty, okay? Why don't we have to do it? Dad's the one who shot him. Jack, when you're old enough to shoot your father-in-law, you can make the rules. Now go on. So what do you think? I think that this is incredibly sweet. But we can't go with you. Why? Well, for lots of reasons. I mean, Jack starts baseball in two weeks. He's pitching this year. Bo's joining the swim team. He's been talking about that nonstop. Look, honey, I don't want to miss those things either, but I just figured this is a way that we can be together. Yeah, but do you really want to tell Jack that he can't play baseball this summer? No, but... And I gotta help out Daddy at home and down at the car lot, and then when he gets better, I still have to find a job. Okay, well... I just won't go. What? I mean, look, I can't leave you here to handle everything by yourself. I mean, I've missed enough as it is already. No. I mean, I'll just call Amy and I'll tell her I'm not taking the job. No, I mean, sweetie, you have to go. Now, I don't like the idea of us being apart. Actually, I hate it. But I want you to do this. Mm. And I'll be fine. I, I can handle things around here. What about the kids? Well, the kids and I will just have to learn how to get along with you being gone. But look, we'll talk on the phone every night. And we'll be here when you get back. You promise? Well, unless another broke, charming dreamer with a 25-year-old pickup truck sweeps me <laughs> off my feet, then I don't know. All right. But just make sure his stuff's out of the house when I get back. Okay. There you go, buddy. Well, I guess that's everything. What are you, okay? Yeah, I... Probably be traumatized by the sound of slamming trunks and, and tailgates for a while. Rodney. Oh. I know you're going to be spending a lot of time on the road, so uh, I got you this massaging seat cover. Oh, sure. What's so funny is I've been saving up to get me one of these, you know, because I have such a bad back, but I couldn't afford to. So um, I figured you could use it more than me. Oh, Charlie, thanks. I love it. Why don't you just hold it till I get back? Okay. <laughs> Listen, just so you know, I didn't tell Jeannie that you were leaving. You gonna be able to keep that secret for two months? Well, I hope so. I mean, you got some big plans. We're going to Kansas City next weekend to see a baseball game. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> More for me. Because you're gonna have a bad hot dog, and we're just gonna have to stay over. <laughs> Take care, buddy. No, oh, Rodney, I, uh, I never did think you'd amount to much. So far, I've been right. <laughs> You've worked hard for this, and you deserve it. Oh, stop it, Carl. You're going to make me feel bad for shooting you. <laughs> Jack, your Grandpa Carl's going to be here for a while, so you know what that means. You're going to have to be the man of the house. OK, Dad. Your mom's gonna tape your ball game so I can watch him when I get back. But do me a favor, if you could, kind of run slow around the bases, because she's not real good with the camera. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Dad. Be a good boy. Here, Dad, this is for you. Oh, look here. I'm in the picture. I'm bigger than the house. <laughs> I love you, boy. I love you, too, Daddy. Sure could use a pretty passenger. Oh, now, for the last time, I can't go. <laughs> oh, having a successful husband really sucks. 
Remember 10 years ago when we met? You were working for your dad and I was sleeping in my truck. Mm -hmm. Here we are 10 years later and you're working for your dad and I'm about to be sleeping in that truck. <laughs> yeah, we've come a long way. Yeah. I'm gonna work hard to make you proud. I'm so proud of you already. Okay, come on now. Cedar Rapids, Park Rapids, Rapid City. It's gonna go by fast. I love you. Heavenly.